I present to you, Mr. Dick Gregory. Thank you. Let me first say I thank and praise God. That you and I have made it here safely today. And I pray to God that your return and my return will be equally as safe. I will be mentioning God several times, but it's not the one you know. I don't understand a God that you pray for and you don't get it. There's a difference between the church and God. And the reason I'm telling you that, especially you older folks, there's some youngsters coming behind you. That's God don't, not going to take none of your craziness. I know that because I was raised by a black woman. She bought my toys and my brothers and sisters' toys and then told me a white man brought it to me. That day is over. The Ku Klux Klan didn't tell me that. My mama told me that, okay? She saw no problem in a white Christian society where God, Christ, Jesus was murdered. And then you tell me to call that day Good Friday? I don't care who you are, I'm not. It's a change coming. And thank God, I'm here to see it, be part of it. Fear and God do not occupy the same space. Hmm? At all. Hmm? And black women, we black men hear a lot of things in this racist, insane system that you don't hear. But we tolerate it. You can be a black president of a bank going to meet with a vice president who's white of another bank. And after he say hello, he say to you, are you staying out of trouble? Is your mama staying out of trouble? <laughs> it might sound funny to women because they don't say that to you. Are you staying out of trouble? And we tolerate it, huh? And so if you knew how long they've been saying that to us, then you understand what's happening to Obama. All right, they don't care about your rank or your title. And as long as you tolerate it. Hmm? Hmm? And you're going to have to stop lying to your grandchildren. That's one great thing that Obama had proved. Go to school, behave yourself, stay out of trouble, and you get a good job and be rewarded. Obama did all of that, and they treat him like he's dirty. Are you crazy? Huh? He went to this school, all the way to the top, and treat him like he's a redneck cracker that can't read or write. No, you don't have to grab your face or nothing. That's what the truth would do. Huh? Grab your face. Hmm? You heard that shake his finger in his face? I ran for president in 1968. You black folks and white folks better be glad I didn't win. <laughs> and every time I say my prayers and I say, God, if I could be born over again, let me be born a, a white man. I can't believe you white folks are the luckiest folks on the planet. After all we black folks have been through, 
in this country, you finally get a black president and he's a behaved one. <laughs> don't raise his voice. Don't threaten you. Oh, you better be glad I didn't become president. <laughs> I wouldn't tell you nothing about the economy. <laughs> if you're so dumb, you look at TV and they say, buy one suit, get six free. <laughs> I need to tell you how bad the economy is doing. <laughs> the minute they swore me in, the first thing I do is go to the White House and dig up that rose garden. Hmm? and plant me a watermelon patch. <laughs> See, you white folk don't know us. You don't live when we're on our best behavior when we're at this job. <laughs> you know how crazy we are. If you made me ashamed of watermelon, something God made me. Sister Roebuck didn't make no damn watermelon. God made it, and you can make me shame of that? And I think I know God? I heard some of y'all giggle when the lady mentioned Playboy magazine. <laughs> but you don't giggle when you read your Christian Bible. Story of King David. Huh? Looked across the way and saw this naked woman and sent for her. We ain't talking about hustle, we talking about in the Bible. Then had an affair with her over and over and over. Then he got her pregnant and sent for her husband. It's your Bible. Who was at the front of the line fighting for the king. And he came back and he left and oh, David was shocked to find out he didn't have sex with her. He said, I don't want pleasure while my men is being killed. So she told David. And David had him killed. Okay. In the Bible. My mother didn't even know that King James was king of England. She just thought he was sent here to put the Bible together. She didn't know King James was such a weird, strange homosexual. He hated women. No, hold it. He hated women so bad he killed his mama. How many of y'all know that? His lover was Lord Buckingham, who Buckingham Palace is named after. Hmm? So y'all play your game, but the games is over. And then President Obama gets in and, and talk about same-sex marriage. You black folks act like, what did he say? I'm 83 years old. When I was a little boy going to church with my mama and her sisters, I'd hear them when we got back home. Man, you know Reverend Gully's gay. And y'all like y'all, y'all ain't know that? You know the choir director's kind of strange, huh? <laughs> and we didn't know how white folks felt about him because we didn't live when we found out they didn't like him. Y'all went crazy. Oh, you can go to the military, but you can't tell nobody you gay. Don't ask, don't tell. Well, y'all crazy. <laughs> You ever seen George Washington with them tight silk satin <laughs> pants? <laughs> them semi high heel shoes, <laughs> pile of makeup, wigs on. <laughs> Somewhere. The two strongest forces in the history of America has always been the black woman in the black church. Hmm? 
And I don't know what's wrong with black folk when they're little punk children that came out your belly get on the music and call you bitches and hoes. No, 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 no. Hear me! If I say, oh, you hoes in here, stand up, you get mad, you a hoe. I didn't call your name. Huh? Call you a nigga, you mad. Call you a billionaire, you're not mad. How is it you can feel bad by somebody calling you a nigga, but you so sure you'll never be a billionaire, you ain't even here? What is going on inside your head that anything negative, you want to grab it? Somewhere. I've been married 56 years. I did not say I was happy. I have 10 children, and I never played games with them. Education in this country ain't nothing. I taught them that. They got laws that say we have to put you in school or we can go to jail. So you go to school the same way you go to the movie. Enjoy yourself and do not disturb the people on each side of you. <laughs> That's a game they play. It's the only country in the world that have a good school and a bad school and y'all tolerate it. You go to New York today and get you a Pepsi Cola and drink it. Go to London this evening, get you a Pepsi Cola and drink it. And then go to Russia tonight. All three of them taste the same. But I go to Mississippi and you go to Harvard, you get a better education than me, and you tolerate that? If I go to Howard University and say, give me change for a dollar and dimes, they give me 10 dimes. If I go to Ole Miss and say, give me change for a dollar and dimes, they give me 10 dimes. You're not embarrassed to know you live in a country that have more unification in changing your dollar than dealing with your mind? Well, that's about to change.